Hello academic stars around the house. Welcome back. Are you smart enough to solve this algebraic question? If you do, pause the video, work it out first before you continue with this video and share your results in the comment section. Thank you. So let's go ahead and work this question together. Now, what is the first technique you need to employ if you had this type of question? And if you have some algebraic expression of this nature, isolate that term. And after isolating, you will find it easy. That is the only techniques we need to apply here. The rest will just be easy. So let's recopy our question down here. And we have x plus under root of x equals 6. So we need to take the x without the square sign to our right hand side. And we have 6 minus x. And after that, we need to remove the square root sign through squaring. So in this stage, we can create some bracket to solve the square. And we need to bring in our square from the left hand side and the right hand side. So this, of course, cancels. The square will cancel with the square root sign, and I only left here with x equals. Now here, there are very many ways of expanding. You can use shortcut, or you can go long. And for the purpose of this video, so there are some beginners who are also watching the same video. Let me go with the beginner. So with the beginners in mind, if you have a square, this is given the same as a, term is a. Now we do the same thing here. We have this bracket squared, meaning we'll have this bracket multiplied by itself. And we fill in what we have here as 6 minus x and also 6 minus x. Then we can distribute the first term in the first bracket to the second bracket. And the first term is 6. And the second bracket is this one that is having 6 minus x is the same. And the second term in our first bracket is negative x. We're also distributing it to our second bracket that is here. So let's fill in our bracket, which is, of course, identical, 6 minus x and 6 minus x. By the way, for those one who don't want to go all this far, 6 minus x square, we just do a short form of squaring the first term. And if you square 6, you get 36. Then you double all this term together. 2 times 6 is 12 of term is a negative x. We get negative 12 of x. And you square the last term. The square of negative is positive. So x square. And that is the result. And that is exactly what we are working towards getting here. So you can go ahead slowly here to find out the expansion. So 6 by 6 is 36. And 6 term is negative x, we get negative 6x. Now we move to the second term, and our second term here is x term is 6. For it to look uniform like this, we need to write starting with the number, and that is 6x also. Then negative and negative goes to positive, x term is x, we get x square. Now, when you get numbers with the same sign, what you do is to add them together and maintain the sign. So negative and negative add themselves. So we have 6 and 6 adding to 12 minus 12 x and plus our x square. And that is exactly the same like what I've just gotten here. So we have gotten this side here, our algebraic expression. And we need to bring this x to join the colleagues here, leaving 0 in this left hand side. So 36 minus 12 x, then minus x, because this is to power 1, they need to be near each other, plus the one with the highest power, that is x squared. So the same technique we use here, also we add up those two terms, that is negative 12 of x minus x, that is 13, and plus x squared. So we have gotten a smart quadratic equation, which we can rearrange so that the zero is in this side, so we just only rotate. And we have our x square minus 13x plus 36 equals 0. Feel free.
to use any of the four methods you know of solving quadratic equations. For now, I'm going with factorization method. And for factorization method to work, what you have to do is to make sure that you take the constant, and our constant here is 36, and you get two values of these constants or two factors of this 36 that when you multiply, it will give you this constant back. This is called a product, and of course it's a constant C, and this one here is the sum. So the sum and the product, we need to get them by the two factors. It must satisfy both of them. One, when you add them, you should get exactly this coefficient, negative 13. And if you multiply, you should get exactly 36. What are those two factors of 36? So we realize that we have here 4 and 9. Now, these 4 and 9 work in a way that if you multiply 4 by 9, you get 36, and that is positive. But if you add 4 and 9, you get 13, which is positive, not negative. And basing on this explanation we had here, and we can go ahead and say, okay, since negative times negative give us a positive result, then when I add this together, I will get my negative 13. And if I multiply negative and negative will be positive 36. And from there, we can use these two factors to write the factor in the middle. And we have x squared minus 4x minus 9x and we add our constant that is 36 equals to zero so if you break it into two pairs what we can do here is to factor out the common factor x and i left in the first term here with the x minus four and here we have minus nine as the common factor and we're left with x minus uh, four equals zero now we collect the coefficient to obtain a new bracket that is x minus 9. We multiply this by any of these brackets that is x minus 4. This must also give us what? 0. So we can go on and now solve for x here that the first bracket is either x minus 9 should give us 0 or the second one that is x minus 4 should also give us what? 0. So the solution for the first one, x equals to 9. And the second one, x equals to what? 4. In short, you just turn this one here, the side. If this was positive, then the result will be negative. It is neg negative, positive. So here, since we had them both negative, then all our answers are what? Positive. And that is how we can solve this kind of question. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Peace out.